Hello guys, if you want to become a full stack Laravel developer, which part of the stack should you learn? Recently on our Laravel learning roadmap, I added this chart representing possible options. And if you want to create web projects, not API projects for Laravel ecosystem, basically there are three most popular choices, Livewire, Vue.js and React.js with Vue and React using Inertia.js. And we decided to make a showdown of all three options in one project. So we decided to create a simple project with dynamic elements, simple eShop filter kind of catalog with all three live wire, Vue and React. So a simple page. And after a few iterations, the tutorial became quite long. So we formed it as a course. So on Laravel Daily, courses page we have new course live wire versus view versus react and in this video i will show you the main things that you need to know compare those three and tell my opinion in the end and the course will be for those who want the github repository and the full content of the lessons step by step so first i will demonstrate the project basically there are three parts on the page product list then the filter for the product so if you click this this one refreshes automatically without page reload. So it's a single page application. Then you can unfilter, filter something else by category or by manufacturer. So that's one dynamic interaction from the component of sidebar filter, the component of products is refreshed. And also then you can click add to cart. And then on top, there's another component for counter of the cart. We didn't implement the actual cart because that was not the goal. The goal was to compare the three stack for dynamic elements on the page. So again, another dynamic thing, you click on the button, the button is refreshed, and then also number here, add to card, number two is here, remove from card, it goes back to one. So let me show you how it works with live wire, view inertia and react inertia. If we go inside that course, the first lesson is for preparation of models, migrations and factories. And by the end of this lesson, we'll have database structure. So this is how database looks like. The products table is probably the main thing. And then there's category ID and manufacturer ID foreign keys. And also there's a table called cards where we just save the product ID without user ID. Again, it's a very simplistic project for demonstration. So when someone clicks add to cart, this table is filled with the new row and remove from cart removes that line from the database table. Simple, right? And this is actually the base. If we take a look at the repository, which will be available for premium members in the course, we have that main database structure as a core. And then we have three branches, one with Livewire, one with Vue, and one with React, working with the same database. Now let's click the Livewire version of the course, and I will summarize it for you, the main things you need to know. I typically do that on YouTube, kind of a free version, summary version of a premium course or tutorial. So we'll have three Livewire components, as I mentioned. So we install Composer Require, Livewire, Livewire, and then this is what our main blade will look like. So in our main dashboard blade that comes with Laravel Breeze, we will have Livewire card counter. Actually, I will zoom that in a bit. So this is Livewire component on top, and then there are two Livewire components, sidebar and products. To create a Livewire component, for example, for this one, we run a command, php artisan make Livewire, and then each Livewire component has two parts. The component itself, kind of the controller, the class, Laravel class, and then the blade file. And I call that a controller not by accident. It does remind, it does look like you would be working with Laravel just with Livewire. So component and blade. In component, you define all the variables that you want, for example, products, and then render would actually render the blades. We have product with filter, which is a scope in Eloquent, and we render that blade file. That blade file is here a bit below. So we have for each of the products and we just render those products having if condition with blade language. If the certain product is within the cart products, then we display the button add to cart, otherwise remove from cart. And on wire click event, we call the function again from the same component add or remove from cart, which changes the data in the database and also and sets or sets card products, which is array within that component. Also, we use a few more convenient things from Livewire, Livewire 3, from what I remember, URL attribute means that the filter stays in the URL. 
and also on updated sidebar is for catching events in Livewire. Then we create the component of filters, the sidebar, make Livewire sidebar and similar logic component with variables, render with blade view. Then we also have price service type hinted, same as Laravel controller. So a few more eloquent operations, and then we pass that prices, categories, and manufacturers for the sidebar to be shown here on the left with the amount of products. And this is the event that is caught in another component. You saw that already update selected. There's on PHP attribute in the product list component. And the sidebar blade is pretty straightforward for each of the prices, for each of categories, and for each of manufacturers with the checkboxes having wire model live, attaching that checkbox value to the selected array manufacturer's key. So whenever the checkbox is checked, that value is changed in the component, which dispatches the event automatically. So updated selected is a shortcut for update the value of selected component property here. And then finally, card component is the easiest one, make live wire counter. It just render the simple blade view with card count from the database. And then that card amount variable is visible in the blade with live wire rendering it here. And yeah, with that, the application is fully working. The thing that I've showed you is actually Livewire version. And the benefit of Livewire compared to Vue and React, and we will get to those in a minute, is that you don't need to run any NPM command, compile anything. Again, it feels like working with Laravel application without JavaScript. And to be honest, we haven't actually written any JavaScript. But now, if you do prefer JavaScript, let's go to Vue and React lessons. In the Vue.js version of the lesson, again, we have three components, so the logic doesn't change. We have three main parts and components. Those are just Livewire components or Vue component or React component. In this case, we install Breeze and choose the Vue version, the Vue stack, which will automatically configure Vue and Inertia and all the components. If you do that manually without Breeze, installing Vue and Inertia would be much more manual and longer process. And in this case, instead of having Livewire components, we have dashboard controller of Laravel, single action controller of Invoke, with all those variables compiled in the same controller method. And then we inertia render the full dashboard with all those variables. Then we have one route in routes web dashboard. And in the view component of that dashboard in inertia render, we have those three Vue.js components added here in the HTML. So we have product filters here, product list here, and card count here. And then each of those is a separate Vue.js component. And again, one by one product list component, I will make an overview. We define the properties. Similarly, how we did with Livewire, we provide the HTML and use Vue.js syntax to view the products. And then we'll have inertia link, not just simple href, inertia link to that API. We have API for specifically this call and also have V if to show or hide the buttons. And that API that I mentioned, there's a separate API controller, also invoke controller to add or remove the product from the card. Maybe it's possible to do without API. Let me know in the comments below if you have any idea how to make it without API. For us, this was kind of the most straightforward way. Then the next component is for sidebar products filter. Again, Vue.js component, again, properties. Now we have filter products function here and we use inertia router visit dashboard with all those populated from selected and updated items variables. This may look pretty complex, but again, the repository will be available for course members so you can play around. And then in the template in HTML part, there's V4 for each loop for prices and with V on change, filter the products. We call that function from above whenever someone changes the manufacturer, category or price. And then the card component is again easy, one variable, one property card, and we just show that here. And in this case, to make it work, we need to run npm install and npm run build. So compile the JavaScript to make it work in a browser. And now the third option is React with Inertia. It will be almost identical to Vue. 
In terms of the main structure, the syntax is different, but again, three components. Again, we install Breeze, but in this case, we choose React stack. Again, the same controller for the dashboard. This part doesn't change at all. And again, three components from React, just different syntax to load them. As you can see, camel case and JSX file extension and different syntax in the JSX from Vue.js. So we pass the parameters this way, for example, and also product list component, also similar product list JS. The JavaScript part of React versus Vue, as I said, is different. It's return, it's products map. Instead of V4, also add to cart button is kind of a separate thing, but structurally from like global perspective, it's kind of the same. Then we have product filter component again, again, JSX file using router from inertia react and in this case for react we use things like use state and use effect so that part is different but at the end we still use inertia router to visit dashboard with the populated variables and card component again the most simple one is just this we're showing the number here on top and again npm install and npm run build and that works so yeah what is the conclusion here if we return to roadmap which of those three is better more convenient or long-term proof and the answer can be more practical or more strategic let me explain what i mean looking at just this project this is a simple project livewire feels much faster to deliver result you don't get out of the comfort zone of laravel you work with components and blade you don't have npm run something steps. You don't need to configure any inertia. So it's much faster to deliver and much more comfortable for backend developers, for those who are backend devs historically. If you are historically a full stack developer with more JavaScript experience before Laravel or with Laravel, Vue or React may sound more familiar to you or more convenient. But even then, just looking at the code, Livewire feels faster and lighter with less code to write, basically. So for such simple project to deliver quickly, I would totally choose Livewire over JavaScript. But if we zoom out outside of this specific project and look at the market trends, what will bring you the job opportunities, Livewire, View or React? And this is the chart from latest State of Laravel survey by Tobias Petri from 2024 and Vue.js seems to be on decline. It used to have much stronger positions like five to seven years ago with Laravel specifically when the creator of Vue.js, Evan, was participating and speaking at Laracons and there used to be kind of great partnership between Laravel and Vue.js. In a way, Laravel made Vue.js popular in the first place, in my opinion. Then if we look at React, it is kind of slowly growing in Laravel community, but takes kind of stable third place. And in the second place, almost overtaking the first place is Livewire. So Livewire is growing in terms of usage in Laravel projects. But let's take a look at the job market. So this is the trend for what developers are using. And separately, I made a mini research and I tweeted, I took 50 random Laravel jobs from different sources, Laravel jobs, LinkedIn and Upwork. What other technologies are mentioned beside Laravel? And from 50 jobs, 27 jobs mention Vue.js. React.js is mentioned in 13 jobs, which is much smaller. And do you see Livewire here? it's not even on the list. It didn't even make the top 20 tags, so it was mentioned only in a few job descriptions. Which means that if you're looking for long-term job opportunities, Vue or React will open many more of them, probably. Livewire is great as a tool for such short-term quick projects if you want to deliver something like today or tomorrow. But looking from the perspective of job market, Livewire is either in its infancy to be adopted or maybe will even stay niche in only Laravel community because, well, Laravel Livewire is the tool name. It's only for Laravel, whereas Vue and React are kind of global tools for other frameworks to be used with. So Livewire scope of usage is narrowed by definition. So maybe it will stay this way looking at the global job market. And we can, as usual, discuss in the comments, which of the three do you prefer and why, for which projects, and what do you think is that beneficial to learn for the future. And again, if you want the full course with the repository that you may want to play around, I will link that course in the description below. It is available for premium members of Laravel Daily. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.